Hello, welcome to my programming class, Introduction to Programming. My name is Thomas Anna. Today, we're going to be discussing variable scopes. Variable scopes are a, a section of your program where variables are available and accessible. There are basically four types of variable scope. We have the instance variables, which are also called the instance field. We have the classic, the static variable rather, which are also referred to as class variables. We have the local variables, which I can call method variables, and we have the block scope variables. Uh, the instance variables are variables you create within a class. Uh, they have uh, uh, instance scope because these variables are associated with the instance of a class. What that means is that when you make an instance of the class, the variables of that class go with those objects you created from the instance of the class. So, a change made by any object to the variable does not affect any object you make an instance of that variable of. Um, I will explain this to you in a better form when we write the code. Another type of variable scope we have is the static variables. These variables are also variables you you declare inside within the class and you declare this with the static keyword. And unlike the instance variable, this classic variable does not belong to any object. It belongs to the class. So a change made by the class, a change made to this variable within the class affects all the instances made from the class. The next we have on the list is the local variables. These are variables you create within the method. So they are only accessible and available within that method. The last but not the least is the block scope variables. These are variables you create within a block of code that you enclose with uh, calling braces. These variables are usually associated with try catch, uh, for loop and if statement where you enclose them with uh, calling braces. Let us implement variable scope. If we go back to our vehicle class, we can start to implement variable scope. Let's start with the instance variable. Remember I told you it is a variable you created within a class. Let us work on the mileage. And I also told you if you make an instance of the class, each of the object can set its own value for the variable. So like here, we made an instance of the vehicle class, which is this. And we set the value to be 120,000 mileage. If we make another instance, let's say vehicle, let's call this Honda. Honda. New Honda. New vehicle, rather. New vehicle if we set our value for the honda say honda and set mileage let's call this 200,000 mileage this honda with capital letter if we set this and I told you, each individual value, each individual object 
will retain its value so it doesn't change <coughs> let's try and print the value then we'll see what we're talking about you say under capital letter under dot get mileage then we'll print for toyota 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 dot get mileage let's run our program as you can see each value has its own each object has its own value but if we change this to static variable it this variable now belongs to the class not the individual object so the value you set for one individual object will affect the other object as you can see here if we run it we are not going to get two in, two different values so we're going to have one value because the value for one object will affect the other object because the variable belongs to the class not the object let's run it see here as you can see we are now having 120,000 mileage instead of honda so have his own 200 is taking the value for the toyota because we have made the class we have made the variable a class variable so if we implement um local variable remember i told you local variables belong to the method they, they are only accessible within the method so let's assume we have a variable here int as a number number this number can only be accessible within here within this method outside of this method we have a compilation problem if we choose to come here assign value to the number you can say assign two so it worked excellently if we declare another variable let's call this number two and let's go outside of the method and assign value you will see we have compilation issue number two let's say five you see we have a compilation issue because we have left the method body but if i take it back to the method body you will see the compilation error is gone so that's how you implement a, a local variables so the last one we have was the block scope variables for a block scope variable it is a variable that you declare within the block if we create a block and we declare a variable in here i say we declare instead of value we can then if we assign number to the value say 10 it, it will compile because we are within this block let's say we go outside of the block we say value let's try to change the value of our variable we assign a new number to we see here the value has a compilation problem because we are outside of this scope if we move it back to the uh, block of code you see we'll have the issue resolved so this is how you implement variable scope let's recap this is our instance variables all of these 
if we add a static to this it become our static variables this in the method so our local variables and these so our blood scope variables this is where i end the video for today and as usual don't forget to like if the video is interesting to you and share with your friends and family and bye see you on my next video